Welcome back to my channel. Oh my god, the weather is so horrible outside. Very like, uh, very like cold and wet and rainy. So I thought, why don't I treat myself and you guys to a nice little cozy sit down video where I try Halloween sweets. Also, I woke up in the middle of my kitchen. There's like a massive weird sort of damp patch. Nothing from the ceiling, nothing from the radiators, nothing from the fridge or dishwasher. Just appeared. Really scary. Hello, this is Pumpy. Got a lot of things here. So how are you guys doing? I feel like I haven't done a sat down video in ages. Sat down, sit down. There were so many videos me and Zoe were supposed to film together, but unfortunately because of the word that should not be named uh, is getting in the way again. Um, we can't mix. I, I can't go to Brighton or mix with other people in different households because I'm in tier two. Let's move on from that. I'm just gonna chat through some stuff, go through the sweets, give you a little life update. I thought I'd find, um, to see if I could find any Halloween booze or drinks or anything like that. I did find this, which I technically don't think is a Halloween drink, but it says Beaver Town Bloody L Blood Orange IPA. I don't know what IPA is, but oh my goodness, it's 5.5% alcohol. Um, so it's got a little pumpkin sort of um, hypnotic skull on it. So we're gonna try that. I don't usually drink beer. Um, sometimes if I'm on holiday, I'm like, oh yeah, have a nice pint of Foster's or San Miguel or Peroni. This is lovely, oh my god. Sorry, my hair is such a mess. Right, okay, so the second thing, oh my god, I've got so much to try. The second thing I've got is these Spooky Choc Toffee Bats. Now, I've never seen Halloween themed cereal in my entire life. So when I saw this in Sainsbury's, I almost pissed myself through excitement. So this looks really good, so chocolate toffee bats. I'm gonna be one of those YouTubers who says, oh guys, wish me luck, but I can't tell you what it is. Literally, when people say that, I'm like, oh, don't put it out there then. But I'm just, <laughs> that's no shame. Um, I'm like super nervous, super excited. This could be massive for me, like potentially massive, but we're not gonna jinx it. We're not gonna talk about it. That's all I'm gonna say. Okay, so these bats, these are not bats. These look like little boomerangs. I mean... I mean, I guess. Hello. I mean... Oh. These definitely do not taste I don't like these. These are weirdly Moorish, but they don't taste like toffee at all. And once they get a bit soggy, they just turn into little croissants. <laughs> so the next thing is these Jaffa Cakes Five Zesty Orangey Cake Bars, which I think look absolutely amazing. Dark chocolate, purple sponge, and a zesty orange center. Okay, it looks like a normal Jaffa Cake Bar. Oh my god. Wow. So it's something Willy Wonka's invented. Maybe I should turn this video into, into assumptions. Oh yeah, let's do that. Let's turn this video into assumptions. Okay, so I've come back. There's a few that have come in which have already caught my eye. Um, the next thing I'm going to be trying is these Halloween Freaky Fondant Cakes. They look absolutely bog standard. But I think the more bog standard a cake, the better they taste. Do you know what I mean? Oh yeah, they just, I love them. Or we've got a little black sprinkly one. Hello. Hello. These taste like like the old school fairy cakes you used to get at school. I don't know if you guys ever had them. Mm. I kept these in the fridge because 
Usually I like the icing that, it has a bit of a crunch. Mmm. Tastes exactly the same. So the first one is, you enjoy being alone more than surrounded by lots of people. Now the fun fact, over lockdown, I did admit that I fell in love with my own company again. Like it was something that I was afraid of being around for a while because I loved being around my friends. Like I was so like obsessed with seeing everyone anytime I could. Anytime that I had a spare hour or something, I was like going around my parents. Like, I don't know. I don't know. It's, it's different for me as well. Like obviously like my, my career, even though sometimes I forget it, it's a career, but it is. It can get very lonely, especially when all your friends that live close to you are at work and they can't like take lunch breaks like that easily. Um, there's only so much that I personally can take at looking at myself. Like, so, it's, it, so I've had people say in the past, oh, just film a TikTok or just take some photos or just take a, just film a video, which is obviously the easiest thing ever. But after a while, I get sick of looking at myself. I get sick of editing clips of myself. <laughs> so obviously with Corona, like there were, like usually I'd be going uptown for meetings, events, like traveling, like, which is the most amazing things in the world. But obviously when them st that stopped, all I had was my filming. And it got to a point where I was like, I can't look at you anymore, AKA me. And then I just forced myself to love my own company again. Don't get me wrong, I am still a social butterfly. I count down the days till I see my friends. But I'm actually okay now, where I'm like, oh, I've got a day to myself. Hallelujah! Really embraced being on my own. Um, whereas before, literally before lockdown, I was like, I never wanted my friends to leave. I never wanted my friends to go home. I never wanted the, end, the night to end or the day to end. As much as I still love my friends, obviously, I love my company just as much. You don't pay for the takeaway when you are around Zoe. Um, oh my God, when we first became friends, Zoe and Alfie bought everything. Um, I didn't have any money. They still are the most generous people I've ever met in my entire life. Um, but I didn't have enough money to pay for three or five people for a takeaway, if that's including Poppy and Sean sometimes. And without, like, without even knowing, they were just so generous, like, just add this, let's get the takeaway. But obviously, um, as my channel started to grow and I started getting brand deals and I started earning money, I obviously, like, treated them as much as they treated me. Like, I'd buy food, I'd get, um, i get them little gifts, um, something like that. They never expected anything. I just wanted to show my appreciation. Um, but yeah, no, I, sometimes I don't. Uh, get the takeaways, but I also get like, if me and Zoe go out, I'll get the coffee. So if me and Zoe and Alfie go out for lunch, sometimes I'll get that. But usually takeaways, like if, if Zoe and Alfie would come here, I'd get everything. It's all about give and take. You're scared of commitment. Yeah, I'm really scared of commitment. I can't imagine anyone wanting to commit to me. Um, even though I do love myself and I love my own company, I still struggle with understanding that someone would be excited to <laughs> be in a relationship with me. I'm well aware that I have friends that love being around me. That's not being big headed, but um, we're, at, we're at an age now where I don't think anyone would fake just hanging out. But yeah, I think in the past, some of the crap I've been through with certain people, um, I've never felt good enough. I've never felt worthy of love. Um, I definitely haven't had it as worse I definitely haven't had it as bad as most people, but everything's relative. Um, but yeah, sometimes I do struggle. Uh, like if I see like someone really attractive, I'm like, mm, they're not gonna fancy me. There's no point. <laughs> but we're getting there. It's all about learning. So if you're watching this and you like a bit of crazy, you like a bit of me, DM me. We've got a little mini egg, but they're called little goo heads. This, pun me, is a Frankenstein. Can we see him? Oh, so basically they're just cream eggs, but wrapped up differently. I like these assumptions. Juicy. I'm getting more confident in like being, when you love someone, you love them with everything. Yeah. I feel like I'm a very intense person. 
but it doesn't mean it's a bad thing. But why the hell am I gonna be in a relationship and not give it 110%? I don't understand. Like, okay, for a date, maybe I'll take it a little bit too seriously and don't know where it's at, but that's all through them not telling me. Like, I honestly like to be in a situation where I know everything. If you're dating other people, fine, just let me know so I don't fall in love. I've been in a situation before where I've dated someone and it's gone really well and I thought they really liked me, but I found out through a friend that he was getting with someone else. Like multiple other people, which is just not what I signed up to. So just put your cards on the table, let people know, because people like me, they learn the hard way. How long have you been gay, hun? Um, I don't know, I decided to be gay like a couple of months ago. <laughs> you cringe at your appearance when watching old vlogs. Yes, I do. But I watch vlogs from me like last week and I'll say something and I'm like, ugh, why am I so cringe? Um, but it's all part of learning, like, I live a very weird life where most of my life has been documented. So, obviously you're going to look back and see, oh, I shouldn't have worn that, that looks a bit silly, or, oh, I wish I didn't have my hair like that, or whatever, but it's all part, it's all part of growing. You care too much about what people think of you. No, not anymore, don't care. What's the point? Why am I going to lose a part of me to please someone else? No. I am so happy plodding along with my life, being me, enjoying me. Why should you lose a piece of you to make someone else feel better? No. You can't save money. No, I cannot. I cannot save money. Like, obviously to pay tax and obviously like that and to do all the things I should be doing, I'm very good at that. But in terms of me like saving for like the future, Nah. You've had a secret camera boyfriend your fans were not aware of in the past. I have vlogged someone on my channel. It's up to you to go find it if it's still up. Um, I don't think it is, but there was a couple of vlogs where I featured a guy and we were dating. <laughs> you really care about your friends and you would do anything for them. Oh my God, I would do anything for my friends. Literally anything for my friends. My friends are my world. I always get emotional speaking to them because I don't think they realise like how much they help me like like even just subtle ways like I'm very 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 lucky um, with my friends it's taken many a year to find my perfect group of friends it's always like I have loads I like yeah don't get me wrong I know a lot of people but the quantity isn't as important as quality. You used to put up with unfair behavior from lovers, but now you know your worth. Oh! Don't exactly want to call them a lover, but yeah, I've been treated poo in the past by people thinking that they can make me feel less or not appreciative. Ugh. Never stand for that now, but I'm glad I went through it. Obviously sometimes when I'm a little bit vulnerable, do I have a little cry about them? <laughs> yeah, did I do it the other night in the back of an Uber? Yeah. Do I hope that whole conversation wasn't recorded from somewhere on the internet right now? I hope to God no one ever sees that because I did get emotional. But, but it's all a part of learning. You can't sit there and tell me that you've never had a moment where you've had a little relapse, you've texted an ex, you've done this. It's all a part of growing up. Some people you met via YouTube you really dislike. Um, there's not anyone I'd say I dislike, but there's definitely people I would avoid. Yeah. You fall in love quickly. I fall in love quicker than you can say, oh my God, what shall I eat next? <laughs> so this bag of sweets that I may have or may have not already opened, um, Halloween all wrapped up, approximately 40 sweets, and they're all vegan. And they're free from artificial colors. Let's have a look at the love part, shall we? I feel like I talk about love so much, but I'm a Libra, I can't help it. I love love, but yeah. That, I'm actually really sassy. I think I'm very sarcastic sometimes to my friends. Uh, I don't necessarily think you will ever get to see unless it's vlogged. Um, not, I'm not like a dick, but I feel like I'm more quick-witted than you think um, for someone who ain't that bright. <laughs> You're fab. Thank you. So moving on to um, this. So this is Tokyo Treats. Now this was 
actually given to me as one of my birthday presents from Zoe. Um, so I'm super excited to try all these Halloween Japanese trays. Look at them all. So I thought these were gonna be like cheesy what's it's but no. Oh my god. Can you see that? They're like caramel sweet watsits. <gasps> so, we're gonna try creme brulee. I'm very not excited for this. Um, there's some bats and pumpkins on there. I don't think I've ever had a creme brulee in my entire life. This smells absolutely vile, but I know my dad loves it, so if he doesn't mind sharing, he can have it. Oh no, little where's Wobby? Mm -mm. There's absolutely no way I'm drinking that. No, 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 sorry. I don't like that, I don't like that. Look, at it. it's like tea, I'm, oh, I think it's, it's tea, oh, it's Lipton, yeah. No, my sister likes iced tea, she can have that. No, sorry. You just wanted to be Zoe's friend for views, but now you love her and are real besties. <laughs> there was no preparation for me coming into that circle as a fan. As a fan of Zoella, Pointless Blog, Thatcher Joe, Marcus Butler, all of them. Now, I had no preparation. I was thrown into it. I was thrown into it by very unusual circumstances. Um, Zoe watched my videos. She invited me to her book launch. You know the story. I didn't realize that people were gonna assume that I was a big fat, <laughs> I'm gonna say big fat loser, big fat user. Um, I didn't realise that me hanging out with these people who I love and adore, that I was going to be accused of using them for views or for fame. Because, I don't know, I, I know people are very protective over the people they watch online and I get it, I'm the same. But when it's you, I could never prepare for that. I was just a little boy from South London, living his bloody dreams with his massive hair. And then all of a sudden people are like, Oh, yeah, don't trust him. He's got ulterior motives. I can't even spell ulterior motives, let alone didn't know what it means. <laughs> At the time, I didn't. These are nice. These are little tomato cheese balls. Um, obviously, I knew if I was going to feature in Zoe and Alfie's vlogs, I was going to get views or people were going to know who I was, obviously. But I didn't, I didn't ever think, oh, let's do this, let's jump in the shot, let's just try and get as many people on my channel as possible. Nah. But I do understand, it's never affected me. If it did, I'd been long gone. I'm gonna finish this because this was absolutely divine. See, we do not get cool stuff like this in England. Look at a massive fish. Oh, wow. It's gooey in the middle. So anyway guys, I really hope you've enjoyed this video. Um, oh! <laughs> Sorry pumpkin. I hope you've enjoyed this video. <laughs> Give this video a thumbs up guys if you enjoyed it. Thanks so much for watching. It means the world. Um, I love you guys so much. Um, yeah, you just make my day. Um, thanks so much for watching. Mm. Goodbye, enjoy yourself. Stay safe. <laughs> Stay safe. God, that bloody beer's went straight to my head. Um, stay safe, take care, Mwah. goodbye.